Yeah, it feels warm already. It's only about 9.30 to 10. Apparently it's forecast to 34 today, so it uh, could be an early hot summer coming up. Difficult to know with the weather. It is very changeable, but still. Anyway, I got myself some Aussie icons to eat before I headed off to uh, Asia. Uh, Herbert Adams gourmet pies. Got uh, two boxes of those, only five bucks. They're on special for five dollars at the moment, so it's quite reasonable. So, uh, hoe into those before I uh, head off to places where I won't be eating that much beef, apart from the far Bar Bovien, that, uh, that place, Serzo Bovien, which is fantastic, Bar Vien, uh, which is really good. So, so far bow, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, they, it's really good quality uh, beef soup. Very tasty. And I missed out on it last time, although I'm not super close to where it's located, but I'm within walking distance. So, whereas in District 7, that was just not on. <laughs> So it's good to be back in the centre of, this, of town and uh, like I say, I really am hanging out for uh, another bowl of that stuff. It's the best I've had of that type of food. It's just delicious. And it's quite reasonably priced too. They only charge around uh, 50,000 dong, so that's about three bucks. And uh, I've seen other places charging four or five dollars, so... Um, yeah, it's uh, in, in the area I'm going to be moving to, which is District 3. So, uh, it actually holds up pretty well, especially, I think it's because it's a predominantly Vietnamese clientele. I've very rarely seen a Westerner there, occasionally, but very occasionally. And secondly, uh, you know, they, de they deal with workers, local workers. They're not going to cop paying too much for their, uh, their basic food needs and, and it's not a flashy place but I don't mind that I think it's it's authentic it's the uh, you know the stainless steel uh, tables and uh, and yeah you know, the hectic thing you get nice. with Vietnam it's, it's the real Vietnam it's nice so I'm looking forward to getting a bit more of that uh, authentic culture again after uh, my sojourn in District 7 where it was very genteel now oh, a good shopping expedition today I actually uh, when I went down the supermarket earlier today, down to Woolworths, they had uh, the Boost candy bar, the chocolate bar on special, which I just got a taste for. It's only down to 85 cents a bar, which is a very good discount. So that was good. I got about half a dozen of those. It's greedy guts I am. And then I uh, was just went down to uh, Murphy's, got myself cheap uh, gin, as I always do. And on top of that, they had uh, Ho Garden on special, which is my favourite beer. From uh, from the Netherlands, uh, Belgium, sorry, from Belgium. Yeah, it's a beautiful beer, got a really unique taste, and it's usually about 16.25 for a four pack, only for four. That's how expensive it is over here, and they dropped it down to about 11 bucks. So it's quite a decent discount. So I bought a couple. The only way you get prices like that is if you buy a um, a 24 pack, a whole carton. It's the only way normally. But uh, so that was fortuitous bus journey was a bit of a pain actually coming up here the guy um, was standing out in the bus stop obviously I was waiting for the bus I mean there's no other reason I'd be there and he said I should have put my hand up now, some of them are really got a bit of attitude some of these bus drivers some of them are really nice but some have got attitude so uh, no one else has ever said that to me on, the, on this the sun bus service and I have used it a bit so uh, yeah I think he's just a bit anal retentive and on the way back of course we had to come into the uh, shopping centre on the way and of course there's this uh, woman with a, a group of unruly kids I think about five or six of them I think that were and uh, and then uh, on, on top of that a couple of just a couple of stops before I got home these um, a whole lot of uh, students in sporting gear were uh, we got on the bus about 12 of them so it slowed things down it's a little frustrating getting back but uh, still you know not too bad it's not like a big city I suppose at least it doesn't have those hassles it's just it doesn't always run perfectly but that's okay 
Anyway, so I got a bit of booze. I really need a drink. I've had three days off the booze, which is great because I, I overindulged a bit uh, late last week, so I thought I need to clean out a bit. So three days off, and now I'm back on to the cheap gin today. So this will be interesting. And a meat pie. I haven't had one of those for a while too. That's the other thing that's on special at the moment at uh, Woolworths. So, uh, yeah, it's a good sort of thing to have before you go to Asia, I reckon. It's... Uh, archetypal um, Aussie meal and I won't be having a meat pie while I'm over in Asia that's for sure so that'd be a good thing to do well the um, superb weather continues so uh, no complaints not as windy as it was that's always a good sign too um, I've got a bit of a mystery here this I'm not sure my my immediate uh, next door neighbors on the same level as me they um, they appear to have a part-time pet. It's the weirdest thing. It's this yappy dog, but it doesn't uh, bark every day. It only occasionally. Uh, so I'm not quite sure whether maybe they're minding it for someone else or it's their own animal, but it's not a constant yapping, thank God, because it was one day when it was particularly bad, but uh, not so bad of uh, recent times. So that's okay. Not that it's an issue for me anyway, because I won't be here in a week's time right now i should this time next week i should be around 35,000 feet in the air uh, heading towards dempasa now that's what the plan is as a matter of fact i should be a couple of hours from uh, from landing at the airport and then waiting for my next flight uh, to uh, saigon at uh, two o'clock or so in the afternoon it's, uh, in the morning right now about 8 30 quite early well, about 8 30 9 o'clock uh, so that's that's good so fingers crossed everything goes well always a bit nervous about connecting flights of course which i have and uh it's, it's the only one i've got really got to worry about is this particular connecting flight because uh uh, if the Jetstar flight gets in late, it could be an issue, but I've given quite a long buffer. It's around um, almost four hours, so I think it should be fine. Uh, so that, that should work out fairly well, and uh, it'll be good. It's, it's starting to warm up here, so it's, uh, it's a good time to get out. And uh, I'm just heading off now to uh, Coles to get some uh, bacon, because... Um, I, uh, I want to have my bacon, egg and bacon rolls before I head off uh, to Vietnam. Something that's you, you're not going to get much bacon over there, so that's something uh, it's good. You know, I've got the meat pies and the bacon. Eating stuff that I won't be eating there, which also includes quite a bit of cheese because you just don't get dairy over there. So, Miles will eat all that sort of crap before I go. And it was good that I had a pizza last Tuesday. Again, it's one of those things you don't really eat in Southeast Asia. You don't get it any cheaper than you get here anyway. So you may as well uh, have it in Oz. So uh, that's all happening. And uh, oh, yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about was my. Um, I've been tossing up uh, whether I want to go to an island uh, in Bali. There's, there's just several islands just off, off the coast of Bali, the main island. But I'm starting to gravitate towards basically staying at a place down near the southern beaches. They're quite nice beaches. And the place I'm looking at, which are cabins, they're not far from the beach itself. Although apparently it's about a half hour walk, but it's not. But it's near a cliff, so you have to divert to go around down where the beaches themselves are. But the beaches are fairly isolated. And uh, compared to Kuda, I've seen pictures on online you know using street view of Cooter and it's very packed out with people and it's even though some of the sand's quite nice it's just yeah it's it's, it's touristed out basically so down the south cost me a little more for my um to get the taxi down there probably about 25 bucks equivalent it's quite a haul to get down there but i think it's worth it and the people on booking.com stayed there rave about these these cabins and it's also a place where they they have a paragliding uh, uh, what you call launching pad I guess you call it because like I said it's near a cliff so 
you uh, get people doing paragliding from that particular location. I've never actually seen it happen, so that'll be really interesting, but it just seems like quite a good area. It's Ideally, you'd be better off having a motorbike to get around, but if I've got grab, it shouldn't be much of an issue, and uh, the, the owner's halfway decent. They'll probably take give me a lift to places, and other parts you can just walk to. So, look, I don't think it's going to be that major an issue. I think it might be all right. So... We'll just see. Oh, the lights around here drive me crazy a bit. This this is a shortcut, but you have to cut cut across a couple of main roads to get down to the uh, to the supermarket. So it's a bit a bit hairy. And there's no pedestrian crossings here. It's it's just one thing they really could do with more of. I think in Cairns, uh, a couple of strategically placed pedestrian crossings. But yeah, well, things move slow up here. <laughs> And as I say, if my plans come to fruition, I may not may need to make this my permanent base for that much longer. I might sort of make it semi-permanent and I will come back here, but uh, I don't know whether, you know, I might actually just decide to lease out my place fairly well full time once I get it in decent nick. And... Uh, and then I'll just pay for other accommodation when needed. Uh, that can work out better because if I'm not going to be here that long, it's uh, having that sort of commitment's not worth it. So we'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Got a few options there, but at least, like I said, that because now I can fly pretty well direct uh, via Dempasa to Saigon, it makes life a little easier. The only downside there is uh, that the Bali is, is, does have quite a few volcanic eruptions and they, I remember a few years back they actually closed the airport for a matter of months if I recall. It, was, uh, it caused a lot of disruption. So you just never know, that's nature, you can't do anything about that but it's certainly not unheard of for there to be quite a bit of volcanic ash in the atmosphere around Bali so there is a bit of a risk involved there so but uh, you know there's risk in everything it's a matter of matter of managing that risk I guess that's the way to live it's going to make what you got to decide what is an acceptable risk and what's uh, crazy and I don't do crazy uh, paragliding might be what I'd call crazy I'm happy to watch people do it but I doubt whether I'd ever get the guts to do it myself but yeah, I think I'll, the advantage of this place is I can get four nights there. It's not that expensive either. A little more than the other place suits on the other island, but I don't have to worry about the hassle of getting a boat across. And uh, that could be a problem too, depending on the weather. Uh, so I'll do the I'll do the ferries and the speed boats in Phuket, but I think I might pass when it comes to, uh, to Bali, because I've only ever spent one night in Bali and uh, hasn't been my go-to place but I might give this place a go and it'll, it, rather than going full on to, to an island I'll just go down to the peninsula and it, it looks it looks interesting it looks pretty reasonable right down south of the airport it's about a, it's only about a 20 minute drive it's not that far and I guess there's not that much traffic because most of the population is further north of the airport so uh yeah it sounds pretty good sounds pretty good to me so we'll see how it goes uh, i haven't booked it yet but i might do so in the next few days and the beauty of booking.com is you don't have to pay until you actually arrive there so uh yeah i think it's i am gravitating towards it i'm pretty well given up on the other place the, the beach place because it's right on the beach and it'd be nice to hear the waves and what have you but the connections, you know, the transfers by boat can be a real hassle. If you're going for a long time, it's probably worth doing, but I wouldn't do it for less than a week unless I was staying at a place for a week. Uh, in, in this case, it's only going to be four nights in total. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.
Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.